Sap. Great to see you again, buddy. Always a pleasure. What is on the menu today? Chicken wings. Oh my goodness, buddy. You don't know how badly I've been missing some chicken wings. No sports, no wings. Oh, that's one of my favorite like Friday night, Saturday night things to do. All of us love it. And we're all missing it right now. And we gotta figure out a way that we can have that which we miss. I agree, I agree. I know for me personally, my boys and I love to go watch a sporting event eat some wings, and just kind of chow down while that thing goes on, right? Two, three hours, kind of slow meal throughout, and, uh, and just enjoy ourselves. It's a, fa it's a family favorite of ours, too. Steph loves the chicken wings. I love the chicken wings. For, for a couple of years there, you know, some kids, you can only feed them chicken fingers, chicken nuggets. <laughs> Josh was all about the, the chicken wings, any chicken wing that he could get himself. So tell me about what is your preference of chicken wings, because there's so many different styles. All three people in my family like it totally different. Really? Steph loves the hot bone-in. I like um, bone-in or boneless. I'm, I'm with both, but I like mine hot and sweet. So okay. I like the hot barbecue sauces, and I like the the hot and sweet, like the, the mango habanero is one sure. of my favorites. Sure. So I know with ours, we actually run into even, even more variety than that sometimes, right? You can get the breaded versus grilled or fried, right? I have, I have one son who really loves hot he wants a hot, dry rub on, on every uh, chicken wing he eats. And I have another son who really wants that sweet, savory sauce on everyone. And some like the bone-in, some like the boneless, but those are definitely two distinct flavors. Absolutely. You know, Josh is a similar. You know, he likes the sweet barbecue. Yeah. He doesn't want something too hot. Um, and he likes his boneless, um, but he'll also, he also likes the, the bone-in too sometimes. And so we got to figure out a way that we can do multiple techniques in multiple ways so that everybody can have what they want. Well, and it's awesome that we can do that in your own backyard. You can do multiple techniques in multiple ways. So many of the restaurants you go to, it's just their style, right? It's either all breaded or all boneless or all bone in. And there's not, there's not all those options for your family. So if you've got a family of three, I got a family of three and we're all over the place, we want to have options. We got to figure out a way to make sure we can do all those So things. what are we going to do today to bring options? So I want to do two different things. I want to just grill some wings and um, toss those in a sauce. It'll make it so we get that, that nice grill smoky flavor from the, the grilling and the, the sweet barbecue sauce. And then I'm gonna take another set of wings and I'm gonna smoke them for about an hour so the smoke comes to it. And then I'm gonna drop it in some, some uh, oil and fry it. Perfect. So let's talk about our sauce a little bit. So that's gonna be our sweet sauce, mm -hmm. right? Um, tell me how, what's our base for that sauce? So they're, they're, everybody's got their favorite barbecue sauce. And sometimes that, bar that favorite barbecue sauce can get a little boring and people are get a little tired of it. Sure. And so maybe changing it up a little bit, adding some spices that you like, or in our particular case, what if we had just added a little bit more sweetness by taking some whiskey, yep. reducing it down to a glaze so the alcohol's cooked off, yep. Add your favorite um, family barbecue sauce to that. Yep. Mix it up a little bit. Toss the the, the bar, uh, grilled wings into that. Everybody will, will be happy. Nice. So we went with a sweet baby Ray sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, we added uh, some of the Jim Beam Devil's Cut whiskey to it to add that bourbon glaze. Uh, and Devil's Cut, it's it's a pretty sharp flavor. It's a bold flavor. Um, definitely some of that kind of uh, sharp kind of kind of mentholness to it. Um, and so. Um, it should add a, a real kind of bold kick to, to what I think that Sweet Baby Ray's would be. I think it's going to complement it well. And it's going to go bring out some of those, um, those sweet flavors and, and uh, spiciness that you get out of, out of their really strong barbecue sauce. Sure. Now, what's on our dry rub? The dry rub is uh, for your son who likes it a little more yep, spicy. Yep. So we have um, a, a, a mix that's like a, a Nashville hot chicken oil, um, spicy, lots of chilies um, as a base with a little bit of smoky paprika nice. to add a different layer of flavor. And because we want that bold heat, we have some ghost pepper salt. Oh, and some mouse water already. And some, and some habanero salt. Oh, that sounds delicious. And, and also just kind of balance things out so it's not just that heat in the salt, I put a little garlic salt in there. Keep it a little bit even in the, in the balance. Beautiful, well let's get those things on the grill. So here we go, chicken wings are on the smoker. So I know we have our, we have our Smoky Joe, we have our gas grill. Why are we using the kettle grill today? Well, the kettle grill is a, is a great 
first charcoal grill. Everybody gets one of these to begin Absolutely. with, Absolutely. Right? I grew up with, with the, the big one. That's what every every dad in my neighborhood had was one of those nice big ones. I like the small one. It's great for taking camping. It's great for tailgating. And it's really good for the backyard. For today's purpose, what if we're going to do a little bit of smoking and then I'm going to make that fire a lot hotter and then we're going to fry these wings, mm -hmm. that this is the right tool for, for that purpose. So I noticed that all of our charcoal is to the right and our wings are to the left. Why are we doing that? Correct. So I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm creating an indirect heat with the charcoal and the soaked pecan chips on this side and then the, the wings on the other side. So the, what's happening is that we're, we're creating convection and the, the smoke is and the heat is moving around inside of the kettle grill and making it so that the smoke is really um, just delivering some flavor right now and delivering some heat. But it's it's because it's indirect. It's not a tremendous amount of heat, and so it can take a, a while for it to cook nice and easy. Yeah, if we if we if we put the wings directly over the heat, we're going to end up cooking the wings before the smoke really gets a chance to, to add the flavor that we're looking for. Exactly. That would it would be the same as grilling, which is another technique that we're also doing today. Perfect. We got the wings cooking. What do you got for us to pair with the wings today, Adam? Well, we went a couple different ways with the wings today, right? We we aren't just using one flavor. So uh, we got some spicy, we got some sweet, uh, you got the pecan wood on there, so that's going to give a little bit of more sweetness in the smoke. Uh, so I tried to vary with what we're going. Obviously we talked about the devil's cut already for the sauce. That's going to bring a, a nice sharp flavor, a bold flavor uh, with kind of that mint and that menthol uh, to it. Um, so we also have the Basil Hayden rye, and this is not your typical rye. You and I have talked about this before. I am not a big fan of rye typically, but the basil Hayden rye really has that mix of berries in it, that sweet notes to it. So, what do you think? We tried that. I, you know, the usually that pepperiness of the, of the rye is that, that that distinct flavor, but that one is a real nice sweet flavor. And I, I was finding myself thinking about how it would be good with maybe dessert after a nice meal, mm -hmm. or if there's something that we could make that where it would have some sort of sweetness to it. Absolutely. I think that those uh, that sweetness in the barbecue sauce might be a, just what we're looking for. With yeah, that one. I think if you're if you're looking to try to get into rise a little bit, this would be a great entry level one. But it's not going to be the same as a lot of the other ones that you may run into. So, now when I think of pecan, I think of pecan pie, mm -hmm. right? So I'm thinking vanillas, caramels, and that pecan, kind of that that pecan pie. Mm -hmm. So the Breckenridge bourbon, local bourbon. One of my favorites. I really love the way that one pours. That was one of my favorites too. When Steph and I first got started getting into whiskeys, um, and we, we brought back some that we that we liked that we had tried um, there in, in Kentucky, the Breckenridge was the one that was really keeping us in, into loving whiskey, and I really enjoy it. Absolutely, it's a very nice whiskey. And this is a this is their entry level bourbon. Mm -hmm. they're, they're just the standard Breckenridge. The Breckenridge Reserve is also an excellent bourbon. Uh, we'll probably try that one at yep. another point. Um, the other one we got then is also a local whiskey. Uh, it's the A.D. Laws straight four grain uh, bourbon, and it one it has a little bit more spice to it. Uh, so it still has some vanilla and caramels to it, but definitely has that spicy that spiciness to it as well. So I thought that might go well with our heat. Awesome. I think we got a nice um, mix of, of different whiskeys here. I think this is going to be some interesting pairings. They're going to balance the sweet and the heat that we're going to do today in our, our different techniques of, of cooking up these delicious wings. So we've pulled the wings off the smoker. What's the next steps at? Time to fry. I got the, this uh, oil up to 375. I'm going to cast iron skillet. You can see it's bubbling up really good right away. We're going to have a temperature drop when we put these wings in there. And so we'll leave them in here for just a couple of minutes, get a good crisp on them, and then it'll be time to toss them in our dry rub, and they'll be delicious. So put them in here after smoking them, gives it that extra crispiness. What else? It, it's just going to help, the, the oil's going to help to make the dryer up cling to it really nicely. And uh, it's just a, that crispiness is just one of those things that everybody just enjoys and just helps to, to complement the flavor a little bit and make you a little bit happier while you're eating. Absolutely. So they're already cooked. We could, we could oh, yeah. eat them straight smoked if we right. wanted to. Right. But this is just the way we want to prepare them today. Correct. Yeah, they are, they are cooked all the way through. Where This isn't about cooking it. It's entirely about just crisping up the skin. Um, that, that hour um, indirect over the smoke, they are definitely cooked all the way through um, like, real nice. So it looks like we were at the, that place we wanted to get to. A little bit of crispy skin for these wings. Time to pull it off.
So we're dropping them right into the rub. Dropping it right into the rub. You give it a little shake, get it nice, evenly coated. Yep. I'm just, I'm, I have a little bit of, of rub in the bottom, and I'm just dropping it in here, and then I'm going to shake a little bit more on it and, and give it a little bit more of a toss after I get it out of the out of the fire. Here now, we go. Now, what if people wanted to bread these wings? What would they do? What I would do, what I think is the easiest thing to do, is go with um, a little bit of a spiced uh, flavored flour. I think that's the best the best breading. Just a light dusting of it and then drop it right into that, into into that, that, hot, into oil. that hot oil. And you should be really good to go. Um, personally though, I don't, I don't love that way because I think sometimes they end up a little bit greasy and that's just not my personal preferred and flavor. I, and I know we've all been to that wing shop before where you feel like all you're eating is bread, right? They're, you don't feel like you're getting that chunk of meat. Yeah, everybody's got their favorite wing place and it's, it's all about your personal flavors, your personal preferences, and that's why it's so awesome that there are so many great wing places out there who are doing their own thing in their own way and it's, it's just kind of fun to find those things that you personally like from what they do and make, make it your own and, and make it so that you're, you and your family are really happy with what you got going on. The same with the amount of seasoning, right? You're, you're adding a little bit more, doing a shake, a little bit more, doing a shake. You know, some people might not want that seasoning right. and they just want that straight smoke, they want that straight crispiness right. and, and they don't have to do it that way. Exactly, exactly. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to make sure that it's got a good coat on it and making sure that I, I know that I can see that the flavors on all of these wings. And I think we're in a pretty good place with that. I think these are exactly where we want them to be. And it's, it's time, to, time to take the, these other wings off the grill. These look pretty good. They're nice and uh, uh, well caramelized, but not, not too dark. I know they're cooked all the way through, um, which is the most important thing of all, to make these things uh, delicious for, for your family. So we got our dry rub, we got our sauced wings, this looks like it's gonna be a great meal. So I hope so, I hope it's delicious. I hope everybody's real happy with what we've done. All right, here we are with our final wings. Pretty excited about this. I'm really curious to how this turned out. Sap, they look amazing. Thanks for doing Thanks, this, man. I appreciate that. So let's start with our Breckenridge first and our dry rub first, and we'll match those up and see what we think. Sounds good. Definitely taste that smoke right off the front. Mm -hmm. The salt. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say the, the heat, the heat from the salt as well, um, but the smoke up front for sure. I was gonna say that I like that heat. It's there. I can feel it. It's, a, it's coming a little bit in the back end too, which is nice, but it's not overwhelming. Agreed. That's nice. Try the, the dry rub with the with the basil hayden rye. You know, like I said before, Adam, I really do enjoy that that sweet with the heat. But that's just a, a flavor that I personally enjoy quite a bit. Yeah, I can taste those berries kind of kind of mixed in, so you get that, that like you said, that sweet and savory all together. It's also feel like it's balancing it a little bit and making it so that uh, it's not as hot as I felt like it was in the first place. Absolutely. Third try is the AD Laws. the spiciest of the three whiskeys. Absolutely. Um, very good though. Mm -hmm. I, I like that one. Um, yeah, so what, what's your take for, for the pairing of the dry rub? You know, Breckenridge is very much one of my very favorite of, um, of all whiskeys, but I think I really like that Basil Hayden with the, the, to make that sweetened heat that I just personally like for my palate. Yeah, actually I think uh, I think we agree on this one. I think that uh, I really do like the, the Breckenridge. It has a sweetness on its own, but it's not an overbearing sweetness. It's a little bit like the Buffalo Trace in our last episode. Cool. So I would go with the, the uh, Basil Hayden Rye in this one. Sounds good. All right, let's try the, the uh, sauced wing as well. Definitely taste that grillness to it, right? The, the char, the char flavor. You get that little bit of char for the sugar that's in the barbecue sauce mm -hmm. without the smokiness of being on a smoker. Just mm -hmm. that little bit of just that you know it's been grilled 
It's a nice flavor. Yeah, it's delicious. It's delicious. And with the uh, Breckenridge bourbon. Always one of my favorites. Yeah, it's just so well balanced. Mm -hmm. It's easy to drink. Absolutely. I'm also starting to feel like I might be changing my opinions about how I eat wings, man. <laughs> I think I'm starting to like the, the dry rub of being a little bit less messy. Yeah. So the sauced wing with the basil hayden rye. It's good. It, it does um, complement the sweetness. It's it's uh, it's a nice com uh, contribution, that's for sure. It, it definitely gives the, the sweet sweet though with the with the bourbon sauce that we have or the bourbon mm -hmm. glaze, right. and then the sweetness of the of the bourbon or the rye as well. Mm -hmm. I like that. the AD Laws bourbon. That's good. I'm not sure that it that there's much of a that they're really complementing each other. Yeah, I'm it's not feeling like it's a little it's pretty opposite. Mm -hmm. And and not opposite in a balanced way. Right. <laughs> exactly. O opposite in a very opposite way. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so with the with the sauce wing, which one would you prefer? Well, I think it's about balance with my personal flip preferences. I think that I'm wanting to go with, with the Breckenridge with the sauce, because the sweet and the sweet, it's just not really it's nice. It's it's enhancing the sweet a little bit. But the laws, I just I just don't feel like it's it's bringing it uh, because they're so they're just so different. I think I'm gonna go with the, the Breckenridge with the sauce. Yeah, I agree. I, I think that uh, I really prefer the Breckenridge. The the Basil Hayden's was just too much sweet on top of sweet. Mm -hmm. um, so with the with the dry rub, I like the sweetness because I thought it balanced. Right. I think another bourbon might balance better with the, the spiciness of another mm -hmm. bourbon. Yeah, maybe even the Maker's 46 that we talked mm -hmm. about in our first episode. Right. It might be a nice complement to the, the sauce rub and the sweet. But just the, the laws didn't quite do it for me. I agree. It's a great whiskey. I really like it. It's a great product. I really support lo local businesses. But for this for this tasting, it's just not the, the right pairing. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. Check us out next time. Facebook, YouTube. Thanks, Zap. Give it a try. Try it your own way. Give it, share it with us. Show us what you're doing. Tell us what you, you, you like doing. Thanks for doing it. See you next time.